Hey all, it's Lionel here from Door Global Team. I'm standing in what you might think is the middle of a field rather than a housing development. In fact, it is a housing development. It's Hidden Forest by Zanodro Homes. This is a townhome community close to Disney, just off the 27. Um, at the moment, you've got to cut through a couple of communities to get here, but in a couple of years' time, there's going to be a direct connect into 27, and you can be in Disney in about 10 minutes to 15 minutes' time. So in terms of communities that are close to Disney, this is going to be one of the closest townhome communities to Disney and in fact one of the closest communities to Disney um, but you're not paying single family home prices so I'm going to I'm going to actually take you into the first homes that are going to be delivered at the end of this month they're still um, building sites right now what you might consider to be building sites I'm going to have to put a hard hat on but I will take you inside they're very close to being finished but you won't see um, a finished product with staged furniture and stuff inside it I'm going to embed another video next to this one from Zenodro that you can see what the product is going to be like. The build quality is great. It's um, block, masonry, first floor and second floor, which is very, very unusual for Florida. Normally it's block, first floor, timber, second floor, and lath and, and uh, render on the second floor. That's not what it is here. So really good build quality. Um, this is going to be homes that are going to be started fairly soon. Some of these have been sold already, and they are from the low 300s, so that the lowest price is 309 that's going to be for these center units here this is a cul-de-sac nothing is going to be built there this is conservation nothing's going to be built there and that's what it's like pretty much with all of Zenodro's new homes you're not going to get anybody behind you and just over there near that tree over there is where the clubhouse is going to be so if you if you buy near here and I think the price of the house that's going to be very close to there the end unit is 325 they're either these are either three threes with a loft upstairs or four threes with no loft. So the middle units are three threes with a loft because there's no window, but it basically acts as a second living room. And you'll see that when I get over to the houses that are being built right now. Or well, the four threes have an extra bedroom because there's a window where the loft would be. So you can either opt for a little bit more expenditure but more windows uh, and an extra bedroom or a little bit less expenditure for the middle units but um, a loft instead of an extra bedroom. Okay, so let's go over and see the uh, the units that are being built right now so i'm now standing in front of the first homes that are going to be part of the hidden forest development these are due to be finished at the end of august and they're all going to close by the end of august they're all sold um zenodro don't do spec build so you're not going to find any inventory homes they are you now they, they build four town homes at once and they, they only start them when they've got a few of them sold so they don't they don't spec them um, we're going to go into the, the end unit and then we're going to go into one of the middle units. So you can see it's a very modern look and feel to it with a bit of stone and a lot of render. But these are, as you can see, these are, so it's block, first and second floor as I said, shingle roofs, architectural shingle roofs, double pane windows. Um, so let's go in. So all the front doors now have glass in them, shatterproof glass. They've all got these Schlager um, combination locks, digital locks, which is great if you're renting. On the right hand side then is the downstairs bedrooms. This is one of the four bedrooms in this unit and it can be if people can't manage the stairs or they, they just want not to be on the second floor. So you can see this has an outlook onto the street and it's got its own closet here and then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom so this downstairs bathroom is a full bathroom and it serves both this bedroom and the living area downstairs apologies there, there is no electricity in this house at the moment so you'll have to bear with me I, as I said I, I will put another video up so you can see the finished product so you can see full shower here uh, there's going to be a mirror there floating cabinet and WC and the floors are all porcelain plank and these are the 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 owner of this unit now has chosen this color there are several colors to choose from there's no upgrades available everything you see here including the appliances everything is all in the in the sales price there's no upgrades available at all what you see is what you get basically so it's it's a quartz uh um kitchen countertop with a waterfall there's going to be a pop-up which we'll see here so you can there's a pop-up uh, electricity outlet point there there's going to be a fridge freezer there cooker stove top there microwave there and again these these um cabinets come in different flavors so you can you can go with that the um, faucets are either 
brush stainless steel or black, so you can choose them as well. And then this is the living area, so these, there's a pendant light there, there's pendant lights there as well. If you choose black, they're going to be black. If you don't, if you, if you choose the stainless option, they're going to be stainless. As you can see, lots of windows, lots of light coming in. You've got four doors now, and I'll, I'll open the centre two in a second. This is where the dining table will go. This is a kind of pantry area slash boiler tank area there. So the, they will put shelves in there for a pantry. Over five inch baseboards, nine and a half feet ceilings downstairs, nine feet upstairs. So really good height on ceilings for a townhome. They all come with a splash pool and these nice grey tiles outside. So just opening this door here and you know you get a ton of light and let's just step back. I'm going to open these fully and you can see how this then brings the outdoors indoors. And it's the whole back wall is basically now doors. And then there's the splash pool. These are not pools for swimming in, these are for cooling off. They also operate as, um, as a, a jacuzzi basically as well. And you can see there's a good depth in them. And then there's going to be a there's going to be a screen across the top here, which is going to be a bronze colour, I believe, and that goes around the back as well. And then this will be fully landscaped. Um, th there'll be grass around here. You can see there's mature trees already. This, this community has been built within a mature tree setting. This hedge here is going to grow to be the same kind of size as that one across the road there, and then this one at the back here. So you're not overlooked by anybody. You're never going to get built on at the back here. This is just, this will be all um, sodded properly at the moment it's just left to its own devices but it will be sorted and then you get your own uh, your own pool and AC equipment there at the back. Now going upstairs and the end lot and the middle lot are both over 2200 square feet which is excellent for a townhome and this is the bedroom where the loft would be in the in the 3-3. Uh, three, three. Let's go and see the primary bedroom first. So again, really good size, lots of windows, lots of light. This is the primary bedroom here, really good size for a townhome. It's got an ensuite bathroom and it's got its own closet space. It's got a double closet here. Good size for a vacation home or a primary residence. Here's the bathroom. So you've got a uh, double sink here, WC, and shower there. You've got a linen closet here. This is bedroom three. So again, a good amount of light. There are two cupboards in here, and I'll show you why. One of these is actually for this bedroom, which is that one, and then you've got this one, which as you can see has no handle on it, and that's basically the owner's lock off. So this is the cupboard that the owner will use for their belongings when they're not here, if they choose to use it as a vacation home. If they choose to stay here and use it as a permanent residence, obviously that can be changed for one of those. Coming along into the bathroom, so this is the bathroom that serves bedrooms three and four. This is the, the proper bath um, with a shower head up there, WC and single sink. There's obviously there's mirrors on all of the bathrooms, they just haven't been installed yet. They're going to be one of the last things to be installed. And then you've got your double stacked uh, washer dryer, front load washer dryer. And they are Whirlpool. The other appliances are Samsung, so good mix of appliances going into these homes. Blinds as well come with the homes, you don't have to worry about having to put your own blinds in and they're, they're really good nice blinds and the video will show you them. So again, good sized bedrooms all around, bedroom four, there we go, and it's obviously got its own closet as well, there it is. Decent sized closets for vacation homes all around. So that is the four bedroom, three bathroom end townhome. Let's go and see the three three. This then is the three three. Almost the same size as the 4-3 in terms of square footage, just one bedroom less. But it depends what you want, whether you want um, another bedroom or you want more living space. You will see that this hasn't got the windows, obviously, because it's a middle unit. 
So I guess slightly, a little slightly darker, but that is reflected in the price. So these people have chosen a different floor and a different set of cabinets. So you can see the color and I will try and get you um, a full range of, of options that you can choose from. Nothing's gonna adjust the final price though. The options are simply options, they're not upgrades. There's no upgrades. What you see here in this house is what you get. This pool's just been, uh, just been put in. So the only real difference, as I say, is in the upstairs, the, the downstairs, the first floor is exactly the same in the 3-3 the, um, three, three or the 4-3. I'll link you to the website so you've got up-to-date pricing because they do change and, and other lots become available. So where we had bedroom three here, this is now the uh, the loft area here. So this is basically going to be another sitting area. You can see it's a good size. You can put um, chairs, you can put sofas, you can maybe have uh, a pull-out sofa for another sleeping area. So you can actually have a combination of games type area. You could have a pool table there or TV, Playstations, whatever you like. But you could also have a sofa that, that actually turns itself into a bed. So you could use it as a 4-3, although it couldn't be marketed as a 4-3, but you could still have those extra people staying here. So everything else is basically the same. You've got the primary bedroom here, primary ensuite bathroom, and this overlooks the conservation area. And that's gonna be the same as everything in Hidden Forest. That then is what the new homes at Hidden Forest are gonna look like raw or not completed yet. Um, I will turn you over now to the video that's by Zenodro. So they've, they've taken a renders of what these places are gonna look like. They look fantastic, I have to say. Close to Disney. What I'm told, the data that Zenodro have got is that these rent 86% of the year. And you know, the, what I'm told is that they're grossing somewhere between 30 and $33,000. HO is $300 a month. So the, the yield on these things is around 10%. If you look at the 309 to 325, which is what they are right now, then the, the gross yield is, is around about 10%, which I, I think is good. You, you don't normally see that. We've seen uh, yields in, in the 65 to 70% um, usage per year. 86% is, is unbelievable. Um, there are several um, management agents that, that uh, look after these homes on behalf of the, the owners of them, and we can put you in touch with them as well. But that's what um, Hidden Forest looks like right now. So I'm in the sales centre at the moment, which is on site, um, and it's in one of the first phases. It's actually the second phase. So the interior looks slightly different, and you'll see exactly that, that this is a three-door um, rear door rather than a four-door now. So you can see how much more light we're going to get in Hidden Forest than we have here. But you can see how the splash pool works. But the tiles have actually been updated in Hidden Forest, and it's going to give that pool a, a better look. And the white screen now is going to be a bronze screen. That's the major differences. So um, I'm here now with, with Kendra. 
and she's going to she's going to take us through some of the options that are available with Zenodra in Hidden Forest. Okay, so I'm going to go over the interior selections. All the clients do is just choose to help design their home. Uh, these are our Moen faucets. They have a lifetime warranty. We have a brushed nickel and a matte black. Along with the faucets, uh, we have Samsung appliances that also come in a stainless steel or a black stainless steel. The flooring, we have two choices. We have a blonde tan um, porcelain tile or a gray 8x45 porcelain tile. The grout lines will actually match the tile as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have four selections for our quartz. Now the quartz is all the countertops. The kitchen countertop has a waterfall edge. It includes all the backsplash as well, and all the windowsills are also made of quartz. So we have an ocean foam. This is a, it kind of has a tan tint to it. Uh, we have a black, we have an ice snow, which is a whiter, it's a brighter white, but still with the speckles, and then we have a gray quartz. We offer two choices of textured porcelain tile for the bathrooms. Uh, we have a lighter gray, and then we have a darker gray. Now the cabinets, so the cabinets are amazing. Um, they're European cabinets. They have a matte finish. Uh, it's very soft, like velvet to touch. The white and the gray have a material in it called Phoenix, which means they're scratch resistant. If by some chance it gets scratched, a warm iron or blow dryer is gonna self repair that scratch. So we have the gray, the light oak, the dark oak, dark oak and the white. Okay. And nothing's extra. It's all included. All, so all of these upgrades, it cost, it estimated about forty-two thousand dollars. It's all included in the sales price. There's no additional charges. The sales price is the sales price, and that's it. Okay, great. So can you just take us through what's available right now and what's yes. coming very, very soon, I can. please? So right now, this is phase three, our hidden forest. All these red are already sold homes. Um, all these green are sold units in hidden forest. So we have over sixty-five percent sold out. The white are the ones available. So this is a four bedroom, three bath townhome for $319.9. This is a three bath, three bedroom um, for $3099. Okay, and that's where, that's where we were earlier. We were here earlier. Okay. And this one, um, you can see it backs up the conservation and the water. So from your second uh, floor, the master bedroom, you're gonna have a beautiful view of that yeah, water. Yeah. The other ones available are going to be right here. So this is um, this is the Hidden Forest Clubhouse. All these white units are available, and yep. these two white units here. Now this is very private location yep. that again backs up the conservation. So so, so let me so the, so where where Kendra's just pointed to is where I was earlier. That's where I started this video. Right at the end. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So right at the end of that cul-de-sac is where I was and I pointed out the, cul the clubhouse to you. You were at building So there we go. We were, yeah, there we go. So that's where I was. I was looking towards there and that's where the eco club is. And I'm going to try and get into one of the eco clubs after this. Okay. I couldn't because it's on a fob. So these are very private. Only the residents, only the renters and the owners can get into these eco clubs. They're on a fob. So you can't just walk in off the street and go in there. So that's where I was. I was at building 33 looking into building 34. Okay. Okay. Um, so I can take you to a clubhouse so you can check it out. So awesome. right now we have these buildings released. Yeah. Uh, and then there will be a price increase by the time we get to the end of these units. Okay. So at the moment we are looking at. We have three twenty nine nine and three fifteen nine. Okay. Three twenty nine is the four bedroom. Okay. Three fifteen is the three. Okay. But I do have one for three twenty five and three oh nine. Okay. Okay. So that's that's the cheapest one you've got available right 309 now. Three oh nine nine. Okay. It's an Asher floor plan, three yep. bed, three bath. Okay. Great. Great. And these these are where we were. So this this is the RL. This, so is, this the RL. is That's the four bedroom floor plan. Yeah. So this 2256 is twenty two fifty six square feet. Right. So this is the out, outside unit, the end unit, yes. 2256 square feet, yep. which is great for a townhome. Obviously you can pause the video to get the full spectrum here. So that's the RL. Yep. And then we have the Asher yep. over here. We have the Asher, which is an interior unit. Yep. It's 2266 square feet. It's okay. 10 square feet bigger. So it's actually larger than the outside unit. And this is, the difference is, as I said, we have this loft area here rather than bedroom three. So 2256, or 2266. 2266, 10 but square feet bigger. 10 square feet bigger, but cheaper than the outdoor units, than the outside units. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay. What else we got? Is that it? That's it. Okay, awesome. So I'm down here now at the Retreat Clubhouse. This is the first clubhouse that was built at Zenodro. 
um, in serenity and you can see that it's got a nice large area for loungers it's got a decent sized pool it's got the jacuzzi and then it's got i'm going to show you the gym and games room in a second but the the important thing about this is this is the first one that was built the second one in retreat is better than this one and the one they're going to build um, in hidden forest is going to be better still than both of these but it's not built yet it's due to be built by next summer 2021 and buyers will have the use of either or and or this one or the one across the road in, ret in retreat um, until that's built so there's no problem about accessing or your renters accessing the clubhouse so let's have a look inside okay this is the gym you've got three weights and you've got a range of equipment here uh, there aren't any resistance weight machines but there are ellipticals and treadmills and rowers bicycles and there's the free weight bench so you know again for a townhome community you're not going to find much better than this uh, just come into the games room so you can see if you want to just relax with a book or something or you want to watch some TV, the TV there, you've got a ping pong table here and you've got a couple of retro uh, arcade games there and I know that the, there's a ton of, there's about 50 games on here, Space Invaders and Galaxian and whatever you want to do is there. So good if the kids want to blow off a bit of steam then this is a good place to be, you know, you can get in the pool, you can do a bit of gym, you can come and have a relax in here and then you can go off to Disney or whatever you want to do. We would say that um, whether you buy uh, a resale or a new home, please get buyer's representation. It's as important to get buyer's representation on a new home um, as it is a resale. We understand how these builders work, these, these developers work. We can operate for you. If it's a patch of ground like we saw over back, back through the trees there, uh, they're building it from ground up. We can come and look at the build for you if you're not living in the area, if you're from up north or Canada or South America or Europe, you know, we can we can come down occasionally and look at how the progress is going on the building. We can take video, we can FaceTime you, we can send pictures and we can also negotiate on your behalf if there is any negotiations to be done on upgrades where there isn't here but that there is in, in with other developers um, where you might find that if they offer you granite, it might cost you six grand for a countertop where it may not need to cost you that much or there might be other incentives that we can negotiate in on your behalf. So please do contact us if you want to look at Zenodro or any other developer, please do contact us. It's um, 407 782 6318 or doorglobalteam at gmail.com. Okay.